I dodged death many a time, and that night in Abilene was no good. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob, and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. It was cold in the witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me, and... Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friend. Hey, Hardin, someone's coming for Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Stop that Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my Let unwelcome the boys know presence. We got another law dog. I wondered if Bob was among them. Thank you. 
And I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Before I could test my mettle against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. mention that I found Harden in this very saloon. Nobody there was happy to see me. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. I felt a bolt of adrenaline, or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks, and I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless adventurer